So what is what is open EBS going to bring? It's a consistent storage. That's that that's what I was talking about. Um, it has been a tragedy of when you don't know what you got below the storage line. When you say, "Here, create me a, a persistent volume set," and, and oh, here's my claim on God knows what. And that's that's I, that's what I really started getting to know open EBS. You know, that's where I was learning about is here's a class of storage that I actually need for a database. I think it's really critical. And that's that's that mature maturation of Kubernetes where it's not just anything you got, it's bespoke, it's a storage layer for data. Um, Evan, who's, I believe he's a founder or co-founder, uh, Jeffrey will tell me. <laughs> um, when, when I first started talking to him about like, what is it about data on Kubernetes? Well, we need a storage for data on Kubernetes. Because that that is, you can make or break your entire Cassandra life based on storage. That's just the bottom line. So, yeah. There's some truth. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, that, that's another t-shirt. That's, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, I had to just, just to come back on the Dutch IT, I think Dijkstra is, is well known. <laughs> Uh, Tannenbaum is famously well known to uh, set Linus Torvald straight, right? Because he should have gone for the microkernel approach, which, by the way, nobody talks about that. But I actually think it makes sense to reconsider that with all those multiple cores. Um, <laughs> and then uh, maybe you guys have heard about NixOS, which is a declarative operating system, you know, takes your... Uh, Anyway, I feel like you're being uh, super uh, defensive uh, at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, just like, did you just did you just Google all of that? Yeah, <laughs> no, I, 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 Python probably. If somebody heard about that too, but no. But in all seriousness, I I think so. But 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 for for uh, in 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 the Cassandra case in particular, one of one of the things that we try to do is is make sure that we we don't necessarily make decisions for you and and give you an opportunity to slice and dice it the way you want. And that's a little bit the gift and the curse because you, there are so many, many ways to, to do it uh, wrong. Uh, but we're working with, with uh, guys like Patrick who, who know the database inside out. And for example, it became rather clear that based on you know, the, the, the traits of the database itself, you, you probably wanna have these type of storage classes and open EBS can provision uh, several types uh, of systems. So I, I work mostly uh, myself from a day-to-day -day, uh, operation on, on NVMe related stuff, but you know, guess what? There are a lot of, a lot of probably more than NVMe right now, uh, environments that, you know, don't care about that at all. And they need a reliable local storage system that is provisioned through Kubernetes and that, and the database can pick up. And so we, 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 we can do that. Um, and, and I think that that's one of our strengths is that we, we, we don't, um, force you to take a particular uh, pill uh, that we think is right for everybody. Um, so 